Hey everyone, it's Jennifer from stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool card um, using our tag topper punch. It attaches right here with some ribbon and that's how you open it up. Um, I can't remember what they call these but I saw the video um, with Stamping Tea um, so that's whose instructions I'm using. And it's just a really cute um, card and it's very easy to make with our tag topper punch. Um, this one is a card we made in my card club this weekend um, and it uses the retiring Eastern Elegance Designer Series paper um, and also the not retiring label love stamp set and the label um, punch. So some cool products there and then I'm going to do another video showing how to make this uh, spiral flower from the spiral flower die. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, what you want to do first is just take a normal um, size piece of paper for cardstock uh, for a card base, which is uh, eight and a half by eleven cut in half. So it's five and a half um, by eight and a half. And then uh, you want to mark it at one inch on each side, here or here, it doesn't matter. And so um, what she showed is an easy way to do that is just use your paper cutter and place the paper at the one inch mark down here and then close this down and you can mark one inch on each side. A little dip where you cut your paper in. Okay, and then um, we're going to be inserting this in the punch and punching lined up with this mark. So for the next one we'll flip it over. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this pencil mark to this side. Okay, so you open up your punch and um, it, you're supposed to take a two inch piece of paper, slide it in there and punch and it makes a cute little um, tag that can be any length. But you can also feed in any width of paper um, into the punch. So I'm gonna do that and then just line up that pencil mark right here with the edge of the punch and punch it. And then to um, get these at the same height, I'm just gonna flip it over and use that second pencil mark I did. So, really easy. Um, this one's not perfectly centered, and um, you can actually either mark on a pencil the center and punch upside down and do a visual here. Um, I've heard of people folding it over and punching both at one time, but with our cardstock, it's pretty thick. That probably won't work. Maybe with designer paper. Um, or you can do measurements to center it perfectly, but I'm going to go with this because it looks fine. Okay, now we need to cut off all this excess um, paper on all four sides, so your pencil marks are not going to show on your card, so that's fine. Um, so, I will place this in my cutter so that I can just see the little um, groove where you cut your, where the blade goes. Um, and then I'm going to cut these two flaps off. And I personally have to label my cutter C or S, cut and score or else I will do the wrong thing. And then see, I also recommend you make sure your paper is actually cut off before you remove this from your cutter, because um, I'm really bad about missing a little section, as you can see. Okay, and then before you pick it up, go ahead and score. So this is one end of your card. The other end is um, going to be normal card size, so we am going to score from here to four and a fourth inches. Make sure you uh, score, not cut. Four and a fourth S for score. Um, and then we'll go ahead and cut this off as well. I love Stampin' Up's cutter because you don't have to remove either blade. Um, they completely slide out of your way when you're doing something else, so it's pretty awesome. Okay, so it's all cut and scored. You can actually take scissors and clean this up. It's almost impossible to get that perfect without a little messiness. Um, but, as I told my club members, it is a handmade card, and so no one's going to be criticizing you on that. But I would take my scissors and clean this up a little bit. Um, so as you can see, that is all you have to do to make this awesome card. Um, 
turn it the right way. You can decorate it any way you want. The flower is not required by any means. This would be a hand deliver card because it's so thick, obviously. Um, but you can totally make a flat card. You can stamp on the inside, place designer paper, whatever. Um, it can go all different directions. It's just a really cool um, tip to know on your tag topper punch. So I hope you will have fun with this card, and I hope to see you again at stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com.